So funny story to start today's episode. So we had a guy one time looking to work with us and uh, he, he decided to leave his advisor 20 years to come work with us. And so I asked him, I said, this is a big decision. Why, why did you decide to work with us? You know, you, you, you've had this great relationship. This is a big old firm. Why, why'd you come decide to work with us? And he said two things. He said, one, he said, you're talking about strategies that my advisors never talked about before. He said, all my advisor does is just investment management and I'm paying a full fee. And he said, I want comprehensive retirement planning. And I want it to a foundation to be built on tax planning. And then the other thing he said is like, hey, you know, you're a younger guy. Your, your team's, you know, your team's going to be around for a while. He said, I, I like that. I, I like that someone's going to be around for my retirement. He said, I don't like the fact that I've got to find new doctors right now. I don't like that I have to find a new dentist. He said, I want to make sure that I find a team now that I can trust that's going to be there with me through my entire life. And so I started to smile. And, and if you've watched my videos before, you, you know I've got a little bit of a sense of humor. And so I had to, to joke with him. I said, hey, you know, that's great. I'm glad that that's the case. And we're going to be glad to serve you ongoing. But I said, look, I just want you to be clear. We're not only going to be here for your retirement, we're going to be here for your kid's retirement. And I said it with a big old smile on my face. But then I said, and we're probably going to be here for your grandkids retirement too. And so it's a funny story, but my point is, is that's valuable. There's a lot of value if you are family oriented and you want to make sure that you are doing wealth transfer to your kids and your grandkids and generations to come to really work with a team who's going to be here to do that with you. You know, there's a lot of advisors in the industry right now that may be a bit older and are they going to be able to help you as, as you retire, as your kids retire, to really make sure that transition goes smoothly or are you going to have to find another advisor, another team throughout that process? So really just something to consider if this is important for you, is that going to be something that's going to help you or not? And so, uh, but anyways, I want to really touch on what the, the, the point of this video here today is, is why kids should work with an advisor. So that's what we're going to talk about here today of, hey, if you're working with an advisor now, should your kids be working with that same advisor or someone else? So we're going to break that down and give you some pros and cons of what this looks like. Joe knows taxes. Joe knows the market. Joe knows social security. Joe knows income planning. Joe knows pickleball. No. This is Joe Knows Retirement. So one reason why we always encourage, you know, the clients we work with of why we encourage their kids to, to work with us as well is, is to make sure that if, you know, when they pass away, that that money can easily get transferred over to the kids. And so that's important because, you know, if you've got the kids working with a separate advisor, a separate firm, well, now you've got to coordinate with them and you got to make sure that everything gets done the right way. But if it's all done in one house, you're not going to run into any issues. It's going to be a really easy transfer. And so, you know, that's one of the reasons. But one of the other reasons, which I think is even more important, is what are your values? What have you valued over your entire life that you want to see with your life savings implemented in, in your children's life and, and their their kids' life? And what does that look like for you? And if you're going to be having a separate advisor who never knew who you were, they're probably not going to help instill some of those values and educate that 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 child of what that looked like. Now, I'm not here to say that we you know force. Um, our clients' kids to do what our clients told them to do unless they obviously have the right documents in place. For example, you could use a trust to, to stipulate what exactly you're looking for there. But I am here to say that, that we have the right to tell them, hey, you know, mom and dad really enjoyed doing this. And, and something they always told us is that that was very valuable and something they'd really like to see lived on. Again, we're not forcing the kids to do that, but they're going to have an education and be like, yeah, I, I like that. And, and, and typically what we see is that, you know, they, they want to do the right thing. And so if you're able to educate them of, hey, here's what they wanted, they're, yeah, I'd, I'd rather do that than, than maybe remodel the, the kitchen because I think that's going to be what mom and dad wanted. And so we're able to have those types of conversations to really ensure that your legacy gets passed on how you wish it would. Um, but again, maybe you don't trust your kids to make those types of decisions. And so that's where we help with the estate planning attorney to make sure that we can get the right documents in place. You know, for example, I'll tell you a fun story. We had a client where, you know, their son is a spender. And they didn't want to leave all their wealth to their son in one year. They didn't want to leave them millions of dollars and say, hey, good luck, go have some fun. 
They wanted to make sure that he only got a certain amount each year for the rest of his life. They wanted to make sure he was taken care of. They wanted to make sure he was provided with opportunities, but they didn't want to necessarily ruin his life by giving him all this wealth that he didn't know what to do with. And again, that was one thing that was allowed that, that transition of wealth to be successful. But the other part of it was, hey, we were there to guide him, to help him make sure he's making the right decisions. Yes, he's not the best with money, but if he can have a professional team help him, now he's going to be better set up for success. So that's what I'm ultimately talking about here is having that team to ensure that your kids are doing the right thing and make sure they're on the, the right track too. I mean, you know, we work with a lot of clients where maybe their kids are just getting started. Well, there's a lot of decisions to make up front to ensure they're making the right decisions, right? Do they have life insurance in place? Are they maxing out their Roth accounts or do they have an emergency fund? You know, what should they do with student loans if that's what they have? You know, what, what should they do if they need it? Are they looking to buy a home? Are they looking to do, you know, get a car? You know, these are all big decisions that can really set the stage of moving forward, but also it's about instilling the financial principles in them, the, the right financial techniques and, and mindset in them to be frugal, to make sure that they are being smart with their money, of knowing where to save, to show them the power of compound interest and how if you have $100,000 today in 10 years with a 7% return, that could grow to 200000 And so maybe that can encourage them then of, of building better habits, building better financial behaviors is something that we're always trying to communicate with. Uh, it's something that's always important and you've probably done really well at that and I'm sure you've set your kids up for success with that but it just doesn't hurt for it to come from someone else um, to say the same thing in a different way so you know I've coached a, a bunch of um, high school kids in basketball over the years and you know something the parents are always saying is man I can't believe they listen to you I mean I say the same thing and they don't listen to me and, and you know what I laugh and I say I said you know I'm not saying anything differently look everything you're saying is correct the difference is, is I'm not their parents and I can relate to them. I'm, I'm closer to age than them. I've had similar life experiences to them. And so it's just a different type of relationship. And so same thing works with kids when it comes to finances, right? You may be telling them, save, 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 save. And, and we can come in from a different perspective and say, save, 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 save in a different tone and a different fashion. And now maybe they're going to listen and all the stuff that you said is now starting to hit home with them. So um, that, it's just something to think about that, that is very true if your goal is to make sure that your kids are set up for success is, is what we see there. So um, th that, that's going to be important. And, and again, if they are working with that other advisor, are they truly going to understand what's going on there uh, is, is something we always want to make sure that that's the case. And, and then the other thing is just the relationship, right? I mean, something when I got into the industry that really excited me is I, I had a mentor. She'd been in the industry for 40 years. And something that she always valued was lifetime relationships. Uh, she she told me, you know, when I, when I first met with her to, to, to see if this is what I wanted to do, she said, look, I've had clients for, for many years. I work with them. I work with their kids. I work with multiple generations within this family. And it's not only those relationships that means everything. I mean, she's getting invited to the graduation parties, the weddings, all of these things from people that she just has her business relationship with. That, that means a lot. But also to see the impact that you're able to make not only for those individuals, but that whole family and all, you're helping them build a wealth that provides other opportunities and it provides, you know, provides comfort and peace of mind to ensure that they can do what they want when they want without having to have that stress or burden that financial you know, can put into place. And it only takes one just generation to do things really successful to set up many, uh, but also instilling those, those principles of hard work and here's what can happen if you do the right thing and, and if you are diligent and you do work hard and, and, and that's what means a lot to me. But again, having a team that can help you do that and work together with you. I mean, I, I think that's everything. I mean, something that we really value here at our firm is a is a family family feel. I mean, most of the people who work at our firm are either family members or friends of those who work here. And so, with that, you know, it's it's you're working with people you really like and trust, and, and a lot of things are going to get done that way. But we also just really value family. I mean, that's one of the Midwestern values that you see many people have is are they family oriented? Do they want to go the extra mile for their family? Are they always going to be there for their family? And so, and it's just something that we find very valuable and this is why we enjoy really working with families and, and that's why we take that family office approach um, and, and really where you know our, our approach came from is we wanted to have an all-inclusive you know platform where we can serve families and give them all the resources that they're looking for to really maximize their retirement and so uh, very valuable in my eyes again it's just a matter of what what you're looking for there but um, one other point I want to mention here that I think is a very invaluable to have all this place and in, in all this in one place and have your kids and yourself working together is if you're going to do more advanced strategies when it comes to especially estate planning and tax planning you're going to want to make sure there's no confusion there you know if you pass away 
you're going to want to make sure your kids are, are knowing how to implement the right strategies the correct way, understand how any trusts work, if you set up any advanced trusts, to make sure they understand, you know, now that they have their your IRA, they have to take it out over 10 years, and what's the plan set to take it out over those 10 years. Uh, for example, you know, right now the rural state, for an inherited IRA, you know, they used to say you could stretch that over your lifetime. Well, now they're saying you have to take it out over 10 years. And so, you know, some people, you know, they may take it out all up front. They may take it out all at the 10th year. They may take it out a little bit each year. And so each of those is going to have a consequence. And so with the ty type of tax planning we do with our clients is if their goal is to leave money, we're putting that as part of the plan. We're saying right now today that, hey, we're going to expect the kids to take this out you know, a little bit each year. We're going to take it out all in the 10th year. And based on that, if the kids don't implement that right, then everything we've planned for is not going to be done the right way. Uh, but also understanding, you know, like for non-qualified accounts, right, everyone gets a stepped up basis of the current rules. Well, if we're going to have a lot of gain in that account and then we're going to move it over and it's going to move over in kind, well, we may have single holdings that are too – too, there may be too much in, in one company because of the, all that gain. We didn't want to sell it off for tax problems. Well, now they have an opportunity to diversify, but it, if they don't have that team that understands that and, and didn't understand that situation, well, we may miss that opportunity. They may just hold that stock, and now what if that stock goes down or you know, what if they're not having more risk in their portfolio than maybe they wanted? So, again, you can see how a lot of this works together, but also when it comes to these advanced trusts, you know, you got to make sure you understand the team to see it through. Uh, and that's why we like working with the attorneys as well, so we can team up on that to make sure everything gets done the right way. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of particulars there when, when, when working with trust, you know, with those with a higher net worth, uh, to really avoid estate taxes is a big one, right? So estate taxes that you know, if you want to make sure that your wealth is preserved and you have a certain net worth, well, you could see up to 40% of that go to the the government. Uh, right now, that limit's very high. But that's going to get cut in half here in 2026. So it's about 14 million right now per individual. But that's going to go down to about 7 million here in two years. And then if you look at the history of estate taxes, it's been as low as a million dollars. And even in 2001, it was $675,000, meaning anything you had over 675,000 would have seen a 40% tax rate. And then would have seen a federal tax rate as well if it was an IRA, for example. So you're paying almost double the taxes, and that's where a lot of wealth is, is going away because of that estate tax. And so, again, that limit's so high right now, you may not have to worry about it, but this is something I'm definitely having on our, our, our front of mind the next 10, 20 years, but also making sure we use up this exclusion amount by doing you know irrevocable uh, gifts to the kids and giving each year to ensure that we're using up this limit so we're not left with all this money that's, that's going to be subject to estate tax. There's ways we can plan now. Now to, to get it out of our state while still making sure we have enough money to do everything we would have ever wanted to do, but just to preserve our wealth if our goal is to leave money to the next generation. Now, if your goal is to not leave money to the next generation, well, this probably you're probably not listening this far into the podcast. Uh, but again, if it is, and you want to be strategic, I mean, they're going to get the money at some point. You know, do you want to have Uncle Sam get more of it? Do you want your kids to get more of it? And so these are decisions that are going to be really important to make. And and so if you have really, you know, like three million or more, or even a million or more, you're going to want to start thinking of these more advanced processes uh, because it, it's going to come quick. And if you really want to leave wealth, you want to make sure you do it the right way. So uh, hopefully this video is helpful. Again, to summarize, I mean, I think it's extremely important to work with a team who's going to be able to serve your, 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 your children as well uh, down the road and be able to collaborate with them as well is going to be extremely important. So again, if this is the type of planning you're looking for and you'd like to, to get on our calendar to, to talk further about our family office approach and how we serve our clients, uh, you can do so by, by, by scheduling time in the description below, and we'd love to see how we can help you further there. So uh, we'll see you on the next episode here of Joe Knows Retirement, and have a great rest of your day. Since we do not know your specific situation, None of this information can serve as tax, legal, insurance, or financial advice and may be outdated or inaccurate. The information comes from sources believed to be reliable but cannot be guaranteed. This content is prepared for educational purposes only. If you need advice, please contact a qualified CPA, attorney, insurance agent, financial advisor, or the appropriate professional for the subject you would like help with. Peak Retirement Planning, Inc. is an Ohio-based registered investment advisor and able to offer advisory services in Ohio and in other states where registered or exempt from registration.